Hello, I just bought some of these JST connectors. Uh, they were very, very cheap. A couple of dollars for 10 sets. So that makes each individual connector about 10 cents each. And we have the male and female here. And as you can see, this is a standard plug. It only goes in, <coughs> oops, sorry, only goes in one way. And the colors match up. Black goes to black, etc. So I thought, well, that's great. And unfortunately, if we look at how these plugs are supposed to be, we see that when we plug this in here, we can only plug it in one way and black goes to red and red goes to black. So I've just blown up my um, gimbal controller, which costs about $20 or so, for <coughs> a 10 cent part that doesn't adhere to the standard that it's supposed to. So I thought I'd try and rearrange the rest of these plugs uh, to be the other way around. And with male plugs, it's pretty easy to do. You can just push that tab in there, pull them out, and put them in the other way around. But with the female ones, which is the ones that are the problem for me because I'm trying to connect a battery to it, right? And I don't want to change the connectors on my battery because then, you know, I just I just want to keep all the all the reds being positive and all the blacks being negative. So <clears throat> these ones, as you can see, are not quite as easy to change. There's nothing immediately obvious on the outside about what you can do. And if we look down in there, there's not much, not much to see down there either. Um, but I figured out how to do it, so I thought I'd make a video to explain that part. It's not too hard. Um, so all the other people that bought these things might might want to try this as well. Uh, so what you need is something very thin. This is a small Allen key that I got with something that I can't even remember where I got it actually, but uh, um, it's pretty thin. It's about as thin as one of the pins inside there. Maybe a little bit thicker, but it's nice and stiff, which is important. And if we have a look at how the inside of these plugs work, we will see this is one that I've cut away. So that's how the inside of the plug looks. And the piece that goes inside it is crimped on to the end of the wire like that. And you can see on one side it has a little barb at the bottom which um, stops it from being pulled out. So when that fits into here, sorry about bumping the camera around, it's uh, right in front of my hands. Uh, so it slides in there like that and then that little barb will just pop under there like that and, and then that stops it from being pulled out. Of course I need to hold it down and then it stops it from being pulled out like that. So what we need to do is get our little pin or allen key or something and bring that underneath and push that barb so it's uh, so it goes up a little bit and then we can pull the pin out and it's a bit a bit tricky um, but if you take your time and be persistent you'll probably get it um, so the way you need to do it is even though there's more space on one side of the pin there we actually need to go in on the side that has less space so that'll be the left hand side as I'm holding it here so start by pushing the the wire in to the plug as, as hard as you can and then bring your little pin over on top of the pin that's inside the plug and try to keep try and keep it on top of the pin inside and just alternate between pushing the wire in from the back and then pushing your pin and wriggling it round and pushing it in from this side to try and press the barb up. So I'll push that in a bit more and then push in from this side. And after you've done that a little bit, just give it a little test. Oh, okay. 
just give it a little test by pulling out from this side uh, to see if it's loose. So that one seems to have come out okay. And what you have done by doing that is you've squashed the barb down a little bit. So you can just focus on here. So it's a little bit more squashed down than it was in the other one. So what you need to do then is use a craft knife or whatever you call these things where you live. Um, and just put that in underneath the barb like that and lift it up a little bit, just sort of wriggle it around, lift it up, doesn't need to go up too much, but I guess about 30 degrees or so out, sticking out is good, something like that, and then of course you just slide it back in, well not, not where it came from, but uh, you know, change the red and the black. I'll see how long it takes to do this. That one was pretty quick actually. Usually it takes a little bit longer, but we'll see if I can get this in a reasonable space of time. Otherwise I'll just speed the video up. Oh, okay, I'm getting good at it. All right, so now what I'll do is I get my battery and just make absolutely sure we're getting red to red and black to black. So that goes like that, and then my red one that I lifted up the barb on again, he needs to go in there, and the way they need to go when you put them back in is, remember the barb needs to be on top. And I think I may have got that the wrong way. Hold on. Squashed it a little bit. Let me just double check that. <clears throat> um, check it with one of these ones. So the little tab inside the plug there is on the closed side of the crimp at the back. So the closed side of the crimp is at the top. Open side of the crimp is... Oh, I'm sorry. The open side of the crimp, if we can focus, is on the same side as the little tab inside the plug. All right. Uh, so, right, red is on top, and now the tab is on top, so the open side of the crimp goes on top, like that, that's better, like that, okay, and let me just lift this up. So open side of the crimp goes on the same side as the tab, like that, there we go, and now we should have a plug that, we <laughs> just keep these leads separate while I plug the battery in, now we have a plug that can be plugged into the battery directly, keeping red to red and black to black according to the standards, and we don't have to ever worry about soldering something up and blowing it up again. So hopefully that was useful. Um, give it a try if you bought some of these backwards plugs and thanks for watching.